हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ओके एंड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर जे एडवांस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग गुड राइट सो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट अ टेनिस बॉल फॉल्स एट अ हैवी टेनिस रैकेट विद वेलोसिटी वी एंड एट दैट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द रैकेट इज यू एंड दिस वेलोसिटी वेक्टर ऑफ द ऑफ द रैकेट इज मेकिंग एंगल alpha with the beta with the uh, normal direction right so at the point of contact there is going to be a normal direction and with uh, with that u vector is making angle beta and v vector is making angle alpha right we have to determine this value of beta as well as the racket's velocity u such that these conditions are followed what are these condition first condition is that the after the collision with the racket the ball actually uh, changes its direction of motion uh, by 90 degree right so it bounces back at right angle to its initial trajectory which means actually the velocity vector has changed by 90 degree right and one also crucial important thing is that this ball if it was not spinning before hitting the racket it would again not start spinning right so before the collision it was not spinning and after the collision also it will not spin and all the important information this this uh, question might uh, seem not a big question but actually so much of data so much of uh, important things are you know condensed into these uh, five six lines right so you have to read all the all the parts very carefully and make use of that right so now let's uh, come back to the solution part if you have given this question enough try then we can uh, move on to the solution part right so uh, here i have made a visualization right so this uh, this disk like thing is actually the representation of this uh, racket right and this circular thing of course is represented uh, as a ball here what are these vectors right so the velocity u of the racket is let's say in this particular direction so this velocity is nothing but the velocity of the racket at this instant right many of you might be wondering that racket is a three dimensional object that means it can have a translational as well as the rotational motion but here since the velocity of racket is defined by only u that means you have to consider this racket as a point and nevertheless we are only bothered about the velocity of the point of contact right so we uh, do not need to know actually the velocity of all the points of the racket we are only concerned about the velocity of the point of contact right and since uh, velocity of the racket is given as u we should treat this as the velocity of the point of contact right let's say this u vector i'm uh, breaking this vector u vector into two parts i'm taking two components one component is parallel to the plane of the racket that is this vector here and one of course uh, along the normal direction right along the common normal or simply normal to the point of contact direction so we have these two vectors that are represented right so now let's come to the velocity of the ball let's say the ball was moving in this direction right so this vector is v vector it is the velocity of the ball before the collision right what i can say essentially and you should be careful that what i am going to prove that this v vector this u vector and the normal there are three lines right and i'm going to prove that given the conditions these three lines must be coplanar line right because one very important thing that was given that if the ball was not spinning earlier it would not spin later what does that mean right if there was any relative motion along the common surface along the along this uh, plane of this racket uh, between these two point of contacts one point on the ball one point on the racket if there was any relative velocity that would say that there will be a friction force which will come into uh, to change the actually relative motion and if there is any friction on the ball you can say that about the center this friction is going to provide a 
angular impulse right so this contact is going to be a very small time contact of course uh, the normal reaction is going to be impulsive so friction also will become an impulsive force here and that friction will of course change the angular momentum of the ball and that will essentially give it angular velocity give it some angular velocity even before it was not uh, spinning right and the question is specifically says that that the ball neither was spinning before the collision nor it is going to spin after the collision which means that friction has to be absent and if friction has to be absent that means along the common surface the relative velocities are going to remain same and that can happen only in one case when these three lines are in one plane right uh, let me show it uh, by method of contradiction right let's say uh, two lines can always be shown into uh, in one plane right so let's say v vector and this uh, normal line they are in the same plane as the plane of your screen right and this u vector now the same line you can visualize this u vector let's say uh, let me make another u vector right let's say this uh, u vector is in some other direction whose uh, a component horizontal component or the component uh, in the plane of this disc is this vector right so uh, there is one vector in the plane of this disc which is not in the plane of your screen this vector this red vector is actually going into the plane making some angle and of course it has a vertical component right in this case the resultant of these two is going to be actually the velocity vector of this racket that is u vector right so if that would have been case that would have been the case uh, you can see that actually if you are going to look for the these two point of contacts which are touching each other one point on the ball and the component of this velocity uh, the component of the velocity of this ball before cut, touching along this surface is going to be towards the right and that is in the plane also if uh, this was the taken case that means the velocity of this uh, racket would be somewhat going into the plane making some angle right if this angle is not zero that means there is going to be some relative velocity if there is going to be no relative velocity that means the velocities of both these two vectors along this uh, along the plane of or in the plane of this racket has to be same right so there can be no angle like this so now you can understand that these two uh, these three lines that is the initial velocity vector of the ball the normal at this point of contact and the velocity of the racket at this particular instant are going to be in the same plane now having said that one more thing which is of very crucial consequence here is this part that if i take the component of the velocity of the ball along the surface that is this part here right so the velocity with which actually it was going in the rightward direction should be equal to the velocity of the racket in the same direction so velocity of the racket's component in the same plane is also going to be in the same direction as well as the same magnitude otherwise there will be relative motion and if there is any relative motion friction will act and if friction will act what will happen this ball will eventually get some angular velocity so that was the conceptual part now uh, is the part where you do have to uh, apply some you know uh, diagrams and uh, use the maths right uh, of course uh, there will be some concepts and equation that i will be explaining you here so let me explain this diagram here this diagram is of the velocity of this racket right so of course it has a velocity u making angle beta with the normal that is given here and i have taken the component of this velocity this direction uh, maybe in the due course i will be calling it horizontal direction this horizontal plane is basically i have taken the plane of the racket as horizontal for the sake of convenience right so it can be or it can not be in the it may not not be in the horizontal plane whatever but i have uh, for the sake of simplicity i have taken it a horizontal direction right so this uh, velocity has one component uh, of course u sin beta in the plane or in the horizontal direction and u cos beta that is in the vertical direction right now let's come to here 
this vector here is the velocity of the ball before the collision right so before the collision this is the velocity and its uh, horizontal component in the plane is going to be v sin alpha and its uh, vertical component that was going towards the plane is going to be v sin alpha right uh, just taking the component of this vector after the collision the question already says that the ball turns its, its direction of motion by 90 degree uh, there was some other word used but it meant the same right the ball bounces back at right angle to its initial trajectory which means the velocity vector has changed by 90 degrees right so this angle is 90 of course this angle will become alpha so this is the final velocity vector of the ball after the collision right so it will have one component that is the horizontal component and that i'm going to argue is going to remain same how it is going to remain same many of you remember that along the horizontal direction uh, in the collision in the oblique collision in the in the common tangent direction the velocities are same but that is the case only if the contacts are frictionless in this question the contact can have friction but actually it is uh, not it um, there is no friction force because of the condition is specifies that there is not going to be any angular velocity so for that matter since there is no external force acting along this surface that means the momentum will not change momentum of the ball will not change along this direction that means this velocity might change the whole velocity of the after the collision will change but its horizontal component will remain same as initial v sin alpha right so now in this right angle triangle we know the base and we know the angle so i can also determine the uh, vertical component or the normal component of the velocity after collision using the, the trigonometry in this triangle now this part is here that the initial velocity along the horizontal or along in the plane of a uh, racket of the ball is going to be equal to the velocity of the racket along this uh, along the plane right these two velocities uh, the magnitudes as well as the direction have to be same otherwise there will be friction so that is my first equation here from the first equation i'm getting this and also uh, the other part other concept uh, that it has the question specifically mentions that racket is very heavy that means uh, we cannot apply momentum conservation we can of course apply but it will be useless right so what uh, other option i'm left with that since the question says the collision is perfectly elastic i am going to apply the equation velocity of approach equal to uh, or velocity of separation equal to e times velocity of approach since e equal to zero velocity of approach and separation are going to be same along the common normal direction right so what is the velocity of approach right so this ball was going down with velocity v sin alpha and this uh, this racket was going up here here is the velocity of the racket and its uh, upward component is u cos beta right so this is the velocity of approach here and after the collision this is the velocity of the ball along the common direction the ball is leaving this uh, racket perpendicular in the perpendicular direction with this velocity minus velocity of the racket and since this uh, racket is very heavy its velocity is not going to change right so its uh, final velocity in the vertical direction will again remain same so i'll just subtract it so using this equation i can what i can do uh, that is very easy to guess uh, you can just divide the whole equation by u cos beta from here i am getting this term here so if i manage this neatly you can uh, see what i am doing here you can write tan beta equal to in this term and the purpose was to you know make a formula of sorts so here you can see that uh, besides this minus this is a formula of tan 2 theta right tan 2 alpha so i am getting tan beta equal to this so of course uh, instead of minus sign i could uh, write this as pi minus 2 alpha right so tan beta equal to tan pi minus alpha now i will compare this so i'm getting the angle beta in terms of alpha that is pi minus 2 alpha again i had to determine the value of u in terms of v right so using this equation or this equation whatever equation you want to use right so uh, instead of beta i would uh, put pi minus 2 alpha that will eventually become sine 2 alpha right so i will expand it sine 2 alpha will become 2 sine alpha cos alpha sine alpha will get cancelled out and you will get the value of u in terms of v as u equal to v by 2 
cos alpha so i hope uh, you guys uh, did enjoy this uh, or like this uh, video and uh, if you did please share it uh, with your friends thank you